Well, they're locked in fans. Beetle Bailey here with Locked In Sports. With the XFL heading into week number three, our fans are excited and eager to hear what's happening around the league. Things are not always rosy for some teams, and today our guest is with the Orlando Guardians and currently tied with two other teams sitting in their own two after the first two weeks. Our guest has played a number of years in the NFL, CFL, and arena football. He is currently playing safety for the Guardians. Can you please welcome number 22, Matt Elam. So how are you doing today, Matt? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Great. Um, um, give the back uh, just a quick little background. Uh, you know, I mentioned uh, the NFL and some of the other teams. Uh, can you tell us quickly a little bit uh, the teams that you played for just recently, the last couple of years? Uh, last couple of years. Well, last I played for the uh, <clears throat> the Vegas the Vegas Nighthawks indoor football team. Uh, mm -hmm. Right before that. I finished the last two the last two games of the season with them, but early in the year I was on the Edmonton Elks Canadian football team for the four, first four games of the season, and I ended up finishing out in Vegas. And then the year before that, I was in Tucson, Arizona, playing indoor football. Uh, that was right after the uh, XFL 2020. Hey, so how'd you like uh, going from the uh... Uh, outdoor to indoor, was that fun or is it a little hard to get used to? No, it wasn't fun because I feel it was, I mean, it, I mean, no, it wasn't, it wasn't difficult or hard to get into. I feel like it was fun because uh, I feel like the, the, the strengths of the game was my strength. Uh, there's a lot of change, of the quick change of direction. Uh, there's a lot of quick, uh, everything's pretty much quick, and I feel like that's my uh, strength of my game a little bit. So it was fun. Um, yeah. uh, just having an opportunity to just compete and, have an opportunity to put film on I me. Mean, so it was a blessing. I know that. But uh, it was fun, man. Just the opportunity to keep playing and continue to continue my journey was fun. Yeah. I talked to a lot of arena players uh, in the past year, and they say it's a little difficult for some guys to transition from outside to inside. But, you know, hey, each his own. And uh, you know, like you say, it's a fast-paced game. So now you're back outdoors, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Um, Take us back. Uh, we'll go back to week one. Uh, you had an interception uh, back there. Um, well, what was it like I mean, to be back out on the field uh, uh, outside and uh, grab one of those interceptions? Uh, it was a blessing for sure. Um, I've been putting a lot of hard work um, out on the grass just to get this opportunity. And um, I'm trying to take a, solely advantage of it. And then the opportunity came, and I took advantage of it. Uh, it was a great call by our defensive coordinator. He put us in a great situation. And I just took advantage of the opportunity that came. Um, I feel like in this league, where most professional leagues, <clears throat> you will lead the league if you make the plays that come to you. So you have to be, right. you have to be prepared. And uh, if you make the plays that will come to you, you will lead the league. So I didn't get to see the second one. But what happened on the second one that you kind of – I think you dropped an interception too. You might have two that day. Oh yeah, that would have been that. Would, uh, that actually happened in the second game. Um, oh, they ran last week. We, our coordinator called a good blitz in the red zone. Uh, the quarterback had to get the ball out quick, so I stood there and waited for the tight end. I did had a good break. Uh, the ball went right through my hands. Uh, wow, it was it was depressing, but um, that's why I'm looking forward to this week of practice because uh. Um, so I, I'm so I'm a, a believer of you put your hands, you put the ball, you put your hands on the ball twice in practice, you're going to get a turnover in the game. So I'm looking forward to this week of practice in the next game so I can go lead the league in interceptions. Awesome. So you guys didn't uh, start practice yet for this week uh, for the game coming up uh, Sunday, did you? No, we we on our off day right now. So we start our first day tomorrow. So we have a long week. So, um, um, there's been a lot of controversy. Uh, what does uh, the D have to do this week uh, to help, uh, I guess, the offense um, get on the board and uh, maybe win a game coming up this week? We got to continue to be consistent, uh, do the small things, stop the run, and eliminate big plays. And like I said, we have to make the plays that come to us. If we make the plays that come to us, we can have opportunity and put offense in uh, scoring situations. Um, we're coming together. We're going to keep on pushing each other in practice. Uh, I feel like with our defense being one of the best in the league, it probably the stats probably don't show right now, but I think we the we the best in the league on defense for sure as far as personnel and coaching and things like that. I feel like we continue to push our offensive practice and it's gonna show to the game. So I just feel like we gotta take take advantage of opportunities to keep on doing the small things, stopping the run and limiting big plays and 
feeling we'll be in shit shape. Right, and I guess this is not a, a sprint, though. This is kind of not even a marathon, but uh, with uh, the games you still have to play, um, and it's just still into it, right? Yes, I feel like we still got a chance. Um, you got a couple teams uh, that got to go ahead and head each other, like San Antonio has to play Houston. And I think San Antonio played them a good game. Maybe we can knock them off, get them one loss. And then we got another uh, division game against uh, Arlington. Uh, we right. both kind of struggling. I mean, they got one win, and it's very good for us. We can go ahead and get this win and go beat Houston next week, and I feel like we'll be at the top of the standings again. So we got a lot of we, – we're very positive, and we're going to this week practice very positive, and we're feeling like we can make a change, and we will. Yeah, great. Um, got two questions yet, um, basically about the team. Uh, the, again, there's a lot of uh, word going around about what uh, Coach Buckley said on uh, – Sunday about uh, the players not uh, performing. Uh, do you see any changes coming this week uh, uh, on any of the players that are playing? Or uh, no, I think uh, I'm not. I'm not sure of that. Um, but I know with our coaching staff, uh, we'll continue to do the small things. We'll continue to um, they continue to coach us up and push us, challenge us. And I feel like he probably will make a, a few things. Of uh, I'm not sure if he'll make changes of personnel wise, but we probably just uh, fine tune the small things, techniques, you know what I'm saying? Technique and detail the small things so we can, you know what I'm saying, refresh and get our minds right. Do a couple of things different, the way we think, the way we practice a little bit, the way we do things after practice, the way we meet and things like that. But I don't think personnel issue, it'll be personnel change. Just more like fine tuning ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Because we mm-hmm. I feel like we we beat ourselves in the foot most of the time this first two weeks. So we can look ourselves in the mirror. Yeah, yeah, look ourselves in the mirror and and know it's just us that we beat that we be really beating ourselves. These teams not really, they really not they really not dominate us. We really beating ourselves. So if we can look in the mirror and stay positive. I feel like we can make some changes. Great. Yeah. One last thing. Uh, I know it's not uh, you know you guys are on defense, but on the offensive side of the ball, uh, there's been a couple teams now that have. Um, quarterbacks uh, been used one or two of the quarterbacks throughout the, the game. Um, you guys had uh, the two come in uh, last week. Uh, do you think there'll be any change in the starting quarterback this week or are going to still go with Paxton? Um, I don't think it'll be changed. I think they'll give both an opportunity to make plays. I mean, a lot of them do great things. They they both have their strengths and they both have their weakness. And I feel like Coach Matthews do a great job of putting them in situations to um, be successful. I mean, I mean, don't, I mean, Pax and Lynch have a great arm. They both have great arms. I mean, first of all, I probably run a little more, so we probably can do the RPO more when he's in. But I feel like we still, we still learning each other. We're figuring each other out, and I feel like they both got things they can do well. And I think our coaches will put them in a situation to be great. Great, awesome. Um, you're heading down to Arlington this week. Um, yeah, I, 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 you're leaving Camping World Stadium. Do you have any uh, last words for the fans here in Orlando? Uh, I'm looking forward for a turnaround. Um, the team is very positive. Coach is positive. He's still challenging us, and I feel like this is gonna be a, the week to uh, we turn around and show and show the world that we really, we really what what the personnel say we are. Yeah, getting a road win would be a real big boost, right? Oh yeah, for sure. In the division, oh, it's, it's, it's huge for us. I feel like the the season determines this week. Well, thanks, Matt, uh, for joining us here for uh, Locked In Sports here today, and. Uh, Hopefully, uh, we'll see you uh, with a nice win this Sunday. Take care. Okay, thank you so much. Have a good day. Have a good day.